Well, hello, and welcome to the final showing of Bonnie. In this video, we're going to take a look around this beautiful 2021 Jayco Red Hawk 29. Oh, that's good. That's good. Get the sun right behind you. Beautiful. This 29XK. Step up from the old Molly. So we'll uh, take a look around. So stay. Come along with me and I'll show you the way. Okay. Welcome back after the intro. You've made it through the intro. Step one. So let's talk about Bonnie. Do a walk around on the outside and then we'll do a walk around on the inside. Actually, I'm gonna have to clean it so it looks proper because you know, we live in it. So it becomes a mess. And I want to do it a little bit later in the evening so you can see the lights inside, get a feel for what it looks like. And dark when you got the lights were on good. Because most of the time when you're in there, it's in the evening when you're getting ready for bed or cooking dinner. Gotta stop standing with the sun behind me because then you can't see my ugly mug. So let's take a look at Bonnie. 29 XK 2021 all right this beautiful this beautiful piece of machinery sits on a e450 with the Godzilla motor here's your door nice awning power I like that it has the arms I don't know if I'm the only one but I like having the arms not just that frame armless one because that seems a lot weaker to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But we got outside speakers. Here is your first door. Nice cubby hole. I like to put tools in my compressor for just in case situations. And some chalk. Gotta have chalk. Your second bay door. Propane. I do not remember. That's your low drain. There is right here. I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell from this little screen. But there is some plug-ins there and a cable hookup. Just in case you want an outdoor TV. And there's your low drain. Just in case you want to set your TV on that thingy right there and watch TV outside. There's your tires. Gotta have your wheel chocks on now, ladies and gentlemen. Here's some more storage. This is my kind of catch-all here. Got a heavy, heavy jack in there. A little bucket. A little bucket for fun stuff. Rubber mallet just in case I want to, I don't know, do something. There's my sprays and stuff for the slides and all the other good stuff. Thing has lots of outdoor storage boys and girls this is one of the reasons we uh, made this the one now you do have the little latches up there you can't really see because let's get nice and close here don't like that as much I like the magnetic ones but that goes all the way through and look how much garbage I have in here. I got four bins in there. I got my table. I got two zero gravity chairs. My back stove. Charcoal. One of those big comfy chairs. We do have a light. We do have uh, 110 outlets again. 
I'll let you go around the back here. You have another entrance to it. Which, come on, people. Oh, yeah, down here, we got a big canopy. We got a lot of garbage in there. And she's filthy from the ride over here because we caught some rain. Once again, I do not care for these, but it's just what it has. Over here, black tank stuff, water. Look at that, all the way through, boys and girls. Nice room. And this is your uh, water flush. Got a little outdoor shower for when you want to take a shower in nature. Here's your slide. It's a short little slide, which was up there on the list of what we wanted. A short slide. Under here you got more storage. I haven't even filled this up yet. And in Mali, I have more things now than I did in Mali. <laughs> I can't even fill up all the spaces completely. And there is your low drain point. That's where your 30 amp power cord is. It's got a little hole with a flap on it to open up so you can run your wire through there so you don't have to leave that door open because it locks. And then plus, you have two more 110s and your antenna hookup for your coach. Then up here is your generator. One in Corning, one in Corning. <laughs> Funny looking guy. But I like that it has this mesh. A lot of these newer ones don't have this mesh anymore. They just have a solid door, which I know it gets enough air from underneath, but I don't know. And this is the kind of rails you have for the slide. One on each side there. Once again, it's not a very big slide, but I asked the gentleman, I gave us the walk around on this. I said, hey now. And you've all seen the cutaway cab and it is the one piece fiberglass cap which is fantastic which is fantastic because this thing here you ain't gonna get no leaks on your cab unless you know of course fiberglass cracks or something like that but and of course you can still have the leaks on the roof where it connects with the rest of the RV that's always possible but a lot less leaking points than there is on the ones without the one-piece fiberglass cap the only thing negative I could say about this particular bottle is nothing absolutely nothing Love the inside, love the outside. The only thing, eh, I guess the only thing I, I could say was not on a, our list of things we wanted was the TV in front of the couch. That's the only thing that I wish we had. But it's over the cab, like most of them are. And yes, you gotta turn your head a little bit to watch TV. But from the dinette where I sit, I see just fine. So, we're gonna jump to the front. Well, not to the front, but to the inside, because inside is not the front, it's the inside. Let's just do this. Hello, and welcome to the inside of Borne. Oh, that sounded really weird. Ah, uh, inside of the Red Hawk. My wife's beating up the bedroom. Red Hawk 29XK. Here is a show around of it open, and then I'll show it again with the slide in. So you get an idea how much room you have while you're cruising down the road. Turn around. All right, let's start here. Right here, your awning in and out, main power, your awning light, your outside speaker, yes please. And then up here, interior lights, 
power step on off exterior lights for the uh, what's that thing called awning there it is I can use my words and there's a tower of some power that just drops back down in there there's a little button down here you push to let it go down so don't shove it down this little command strip I put here so I can get to my keys quickly and down here this here is where your battery is it's got a little latch weird view got a little latch down here to open so you can get to your one battery down there all right here's your cab here's your bunk this just flips down it is connected so you can't get you can't move it off and get rid of it sticks sticks there it stays there it says I'm not moving up there it's a cushion for the seats cushion for the seats curtain TV that comes stock with this one 32 inch there is your information 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 whatever it's called plug in right there plug that into your phone BAM CarPlay well, at least for Apple I know it does it for Android too whatever it's called these seats do turn around but you got to keep maneuvering it back and forth so you can keep moving it because it is a tight squeeze and not very comfortable for someone that's six foot or taller here's your couch that is going to jackknife one of the pull up pull out whole thing lays down not horrible not great so we are packing up getting ready to leave today that's why i chose now to do this here is your u-shaped dinette and your table that spins around which is awesome there's a plug in there two 110 and the usb i know i can't see it because it's dark down there in the corner so i just plug in that there's cup holders and these both on both sides only going to fit a can of soda or a small cup. Bob. You know what that is? That's a thermostat. What a beautiful thing. Especially here in Florida. Kind of going all over the place, ain't I? Okay, anyways. Refrigerator. It's a refrigerator. Range. Pretty cool. Lights mm -hmm. on. And if your kids bump it, red let you know that there's gas coming out this is the top folds in the middle comes up in the back now here is your somewhat of a space for an oven it's something you ain't putting a turkey in there i tell you that much but some chicken nuggets and a pizza will fit fine there's all kinds of drawers for storage this is called garbage storage Just bought that, didn't get to use it, upset. Look, more garbage. Oh my gosh, babe. And here is your storage underneath there. Pretty nice. Lots of room. You get some shelves and stuff you can really build up in there. Big wide drawer here. This one is your little fold-out spongy. I don't want to do it because it's chanky chanky it's hard to open and when you open it too hard things go flying ah <laughs> popcorn look at all that how long are we staying storage up there it is a convection oven we used it and it works pretty good pretty good we'll go back there in a second i want to take a shot from the front hold tight this is standing up in the cab. Obviously your kitchen, dinette, your couch. A little cool little LED light strips. Lights down the middle. 
those are separate from these those are separate from these and it's lit all the way underneath too I wanted to do this at night last night but I was too tired two uh, cabinets underneath there you also have lights underneath this one and lights underneath this one those are both on separate switches and <coughs> another 110 110 there is a lot of places to plug in maybe not where you want it but there's a lot of places now there's a shower I am 62 ish and I can leave that bar in there and not hit my head it's close but I don't hit my head pretty nice this is your bedroom lights are on LED lights, of course. There's a vent. Get rid of the sun. Three deep cabinets. Here is your closet. Walk-in closet if you're very, very, very short. If you like to. There's two more drawers. Man, the lighting is great! Let's see if we can get a little light. That's a little better that's better here is your lights blue light hold it white light those are pretty cool there is a drawer over there and up at the top corner there there is a plug on the bedside and let's toilet paper those are deep I mean I can't even reach the back from here Oh, another thing that some people might li not like is that there's a step here. Of course, that's for because of your huge storage underneath. For me, fair trade. Come on, fair trade. And over there, you got some step ups too. It's got a one. Let's see if I can get it in there. And there's the two. This is an aftermarket bed. Too big for the space but it fits yeah to the bathroom you got cabinet space here not a lot 110 in there little drawer your sink all that fun stuff there's a vent in here if you leave that door shut and the air on gonna cool you down quick there is a window in here, which I like, but the shade's always pulled down. These come with a plastic toilet, but we got the porcelain with the soft close lid. We made it part of the deal. We ain't doing it without a porcelain toilet. I am over six foot, six foot two-ish, 200 and 40 230 pounds and I have plenty of room in here my opinion good position right here is your lights and your fan unfortunately it's one of those little crap fans that don't do nothing that's going to be changed out but this okay let me see if I can get back here you shut that door this whole thing becomes your suite with your bedroom then if you want, I got a crappy accordion door, door, door that you can shut so you can keep it separate. So if you're in the living room, you have guests over, they want to shower, they want to crap, shower and shave. And then you got someone in here watching TV, which that's never going to happen, but it's a possibility now. So I usually shut this door. I usually don't leave it open because it's usually just me and my queen. And that's the look forward. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like when it's closed. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all the way in. Look at all the room. Even when we make little quick one-nighters on the way to Tennessee, when we did, we didn't even put the slide out. We just lived like this. Nice and easy. So thank you for coming and watching my trip around Bonnie. Thank you and have a nice day.